Hi, Dave Youngquist, Michigan Toy Soldier, and welcome to the second part of Creating Groundwork. Today we'll be using grass tufts from Joe Fix, Frederick's Rex Green Line grass tufts, uh, Hudson and Allen forest litter, field grass, uh, winter grass, and their static grass. And we'll be using some different paint effects to really get a, a nice finish on this kit. Let's get started. Okay, I've peeled off all the tape from the last session. The, I know that protected the base from all the epoxy putty and dirt that we threw down here. And after the uh, epoxy has dried, I've base coated the entire base with a Vallejo burnt umber, probably my favorite color. That's dried. Now we're ready for some dry brushing. I'm using a Micromark dry brush, which I really like, and we're wiping a bit of that off on a tissue. I'm using Iraqi sand which is a really nice contrast color to the uh, Vallejo Burnt Umber and we're just going to lightly dry brush over it. When I say lightly, that's important because remember we poured some dirt and debris and we don't want to loosen all of that up. So go over the whole groundwork area with this color. It's just going to make the detail pop and prepare us for the next stages. Okay, I'm mixing up some white glue and a little bit of the burnt umber paint. It's important to use the same color as your base color. Uh, that way none of the glue will show through. Now I've got some of the Hudson and Allen Winter Grass, which is a really great product. And I'm going to cut just a bit off. And I'm not going to cut it too long. And all we're going to do is dip it in our glue solution. And we're going to place a little tuft of grass right about here, right underneath the hoof. Now when you're setting grass down, you want it to be very natural and let it fall down a little bit. Any spare hairs you can always pull out later. Excellent. Let's do a couple more. Okay, now that we've got a bit of the winter grass applied, I'm going to add a bit of the Hudson and Allen field grass. And again, using our same glue mixture, we're just going to cut this, dip it in to the glue, now this is a little bit fussier to work with, but just take your time and mix that right in with your other grasses. Use a paintbrush, if need be, to uh, position the little strands. There you go. Let's add a couple more. And I'll continue adding little bits here and there. I made up a new batch of the glue and paint mixture, and with an old brush, I'm just going to paint a bit of that glue mixture uh, in the areas where I want to drop some of the static grass. Now, the static grass, typically, you're going to find is going to be very bright green or yellow, and again, once it's dry, you do want to paint that over, uh, give it a more natural look. Stop by next time when we finish up this groundwork, and be sure to check out all our videos on the Michigan Toy Soldier YouTube channel.